Hey and welcome to the first episode of the Recording Tip Every Wednesday series. And in this episode we're going to be covering how to record your acoustic guitar with one and two different microphones. So enjoy the episode. To use in this episode I'm going to be using a small diaphragm condenser and a large diaphragm condenser. I'm going to refer to these as SDC and LDC. If your guitar is not the focal point of the mix and you only want it to be playing along with everything else in the rhythm section, say, you're only probably going to want to use one microphone and have it EQ'd so it blends in with all the other instruments. When you do this, you probably only want to use one microphone and that would be a small diaphragm condenser microphone as I have here. You'd position this microphone at the 12th fret of your guitar, which is considered the sweet spot of most acoustic guitars. So you position this, like so. Five to six inches away is ideal for most guitars, and any recording technique you use is normally five to six inches. That's referred to as close miking. If you want to add a stereo element of the guitar, say it is the focal point of the mix, and you've only got a singer and a guitar in the mix, you probably want a more natural sounding uh, guitar sound. So you'd probably use the two microphones I have here, I'm not sure if you can see it, a large diaphragm condenser, or LDC, behind the bridge but pointed towards where the strings meet into the body of the guitar. Now, it's the same distance away, it's five to six inches for most things. So you position that there and then you pan them hard right and hard left in your digital audio workstation. And there you will gain a more natural sounding guitar sound. Another stereo technique you can use is a coincident pair, also known, more commonly known as a XY microphone technique. This you'd place the two microphones, small diaphragm condensers ideally, 90 degrees to each other, and that creates the illusion that your ears are there listening to it, and if you pan them hard left and hard right, you get a very natural sounding guitar. You'd normally place a coincident pair at the 12th fret also. So let's get these microphones connected and record them into Cubase. So I've got my three guitar tracks. I've got my bridge mic, my 12th fret, and my mono 12th fret. So we're just going to take a quick listen to the stereo pair first. So you can hear there that without any processing apart from panning, it came out fairly nice sounding. So now what we want to do is we're going to create a new group. And we're going to have a stereo group. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to name this Guitar Stereo. And then we're going to route these both into my Guitar Stereo group. And if we play, we can mute the guitar track. So they've been put into this stereo group. Now I've already, like I said, I've already panned them left and right. I've tried to do it as the microphones were to your ears looking at the guitar, but if we put them as where the microphones were, it sounds a little different. Well, you have the low end of the bridge in your right ear, which sounds a little weird if you visualize the guitar where you're looking at it. So you put them back to normal. Now this is as if you're playing the guitar the way I have it now. No it isn't, sorry. Oops, forget that. How I have it now is what it's generally used as. Because you normally have the bridge as your left and so on. So now let's go ahead and add some nice compression and some EQ on this. I'm going to loop it first. Now when you want to compress a guitar you want a fairly nice sounding compressor. I'm going to go with the Child 670. 
Now this compressor adds a very nice sound to a lot of things like drums and anything you put through it will sound nice. Now I'm going to load up a simple preset if it's got any. Um, it doesn't, so I'm going to. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do this from scratch. So play through. You only want a tiny bit of compression, so I'm going to put this to 2, and then my input, say 10, 2. So we've got a fairly nice even guitar sound there. The one thing I've noticed is that the 12th fret is a little quieter than the actual one. So we can bring them both down, or we can bring the 12th one up a little so it matches. So that'd be around there, I think. A little bit more. So it's a fairly nice sound we've got there without any EQ, just a little bit of compression. So now we're going to go ahead and add some EQ. Now I'm going to add some highs, around 5k I reckon. And then I'm going to cut just a tiny bit of the lows off. For there. Now I'm going to bypass the EQ and put it back on as I'm playing. So it's definitely added some highs into the guitar mix itself. So to me that's sounding fairly nice now, I can work with that further. So now let's focus on this uh, mono guitar. Now the principles are pretty much the same with this but it's centre panned instead. And if it's in the mix you're going to cut off a lot more of the lows than you normally would. So let's play this. Now as you can hear it's quite dull compared to the stereo up there. We're going to go ahead and add some compression. With this, I'm going to go with the standard Steinberg dynamic compressor, just to give you an example that you can do this with any compressor, really. So we've got a nice bit of compression going on. Now let's add a little bit of EQ to taste.
So now let's bypass the EQ as it's playing. So you have some ex like listening example. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this episode. So come back next week, next Wednesday, where I have another video for you. So keep your eyes peeled and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.